To make this fresh ippies, you're going to need some parsley, some freshly cut parsley. You're also going to need some freshly cut um, scallions, some freshly cut onions. I use about, I believe, two onions and a lot of garlic. A lot. I even think I need more, but that's all I put. So now you're going to take your garlic ooh, a little slower than I did. And you're gonna pour it into your blender. This is the first thing you're gonna blend because it's the hardest. So you just wanna get that out the way. Everything else is not as hard as this. So yeah. Look at my dumbass. I really thought that was about to blend. Guys, you're gonna wanna not be dumb like me and add some water to this because this is not gonna go anywhere. I realized after a little while. So now you see me adding water. Again, I didn't measure it. I just did what I felt was right. So now you see the garlic is gonna blend now. Aha, uh -huh. perfect, what we want. So we're gonna get that garlic all blended up into a, let's say salsa-y consistency. Dill little burp. You're gonna want to mix it up a little bit to get the um to get it all mixed up and get the you know mix it up and get it all mixed up so it could blend a little better. All right, now hit it again. Let that thing go. Oh, it's really going. All right, guys, now you're gonna go in with your parsley and just dump that in. Make sure you wash all your stuff, guys. You don't want any of those whatever being leaves now. You want clean vegetables. Now pour half of it in because obviously it's not gonna fit. It's some more voluptuous vegetable. We're just gonna blend that in. Um, as you can see, there's not really one set mode to put the blender on. I just press whatever, whatever feels right. So, yeah. This nigga Alex just being Alex. All right. So we're gonna go ahead and add the rest of the parsley. Um, you can even add that water in if you want to. I guess I did. Okay. And after you add the parsley, you're gonna um. Well, I guess I mixed the scallions and the onions together because they're all going in the blender anyway. So I mixed that together and added half of that into the blender. And we're gonna go ahead and blend again. I clearly jam-packed this blender because I was trying to make as much a piece as possible. Um, it don't make no sense to make this in two portions and split your four. I mean, I guess it does, but who the hell got time for that? Just put everything in there and hope it works. Pushing everything down does help it reach the bottom. So make sure you are pushing the vegetables into the blended ippies. Mm -hmm. 
So now we're going to go ahead and add the rest of the vegetables that we have left. Um, also, if you like garlic more, you can add a little more garlic. If you like scallions more, you can add a little more scallions. If you like onions more, you can add a little more onions. You can even add green pepper or red pepper into it. I don't think that's necessary, but some people do. But hey, it's all up to you. Do you. This is just the basics of what you need to make your it piece. So we're gonna go ahead and add a little bit of um, olive oil. I think that's about, I don't even know, I don't know. I think that's about three tablespoons of olive oil. And we're gonna mix that in. Look at my little hand, my little fingers. Oh, I'm shaking, I'm shaking, I'm shaking. Um, as you can see, when I lifted the lid off, the olive oil didn't go nowhere. So, mix it in with a spoon rather than blending it in with the blender. Makes more sense. I'll be realizing stuff as I'm doing it. It's really an earthquake going on. Look at that beautiful green color we got going on. It almost looks like guacamole. I kinda want guacamole now. But you got a beautiful green color. And like you can see, like I said, the parsley gives it that, that, that look. That, that look. It's just a look, you know? And you see some olive oil is around the rim of the a piece. But that's okay. That's perfectly fine. It doesn't all have to get incorporated in because it's in there. So that's it. And we're just going to let that mix all the way in. And we're pretty much done. So now for the final step. So you're gonna need a funnel or not I mean it's just easier for me and you're gonna pour this it piece into a you're gonna pour it into a glass container I recommend glass because glass just is better to preserve things over for a while um, I do not recommend plastic if plastic is all you have, well, that's fine. But black glass is way better, okay? So just get that into your glass container. This is actually a spaghetti glass container, a spaghetti sauce glass container that I kept. And it works perfectly. So you can either buy a glass container or you can use a glass container, rinse it out and save it when you're done and it'll be good. I like my it piece to be a little thick, like, <laughs> but I like it thick, not too liquidy, because as this sits in the fridge, it's gonna get cold, obviously, and it's become, it's gonna, um, it's gonna start to form a, a, a like, into a paste, so you might see it's a little liquidy now, but it piece is something that sits in the fridge for like six months like this bottle is gonna last me this bottle that i'm filling up is gonna last me for the next six months maybe even longer that's why i recommend glass because glass preserves things way better than plastic
all right guys there you have it a beautiful jar of Haitian Haitian <laughs> Haitian Ippies you can use this to season your meats your fish your you can use it in pasta you can eat it with crackers if you want I don't know do whatever you want but enjoy <laughs>